So I'm just going to get the board moment and uh, give you an idea of the, the thought process that went behind um, how we got to the meeting where we are today. So bear with me, uh, hopefully there is a little bit of logic in understanding here. I'm just going to walk through this process very quickly. So this can be, can be stands for the uh, debating for action on banking violence, the work center group. And over the last couple of years, we've had these language like, like seminars uh, series, which have normally been, taken, have been held in September, October, and November. We would have had this year a continuation of that hosted by Comox. We decided to postpone that until the new year. But rather than leave a huge gap between the last session and the next one, which will now be in April, I believe it is, right? April, probably April, May, June. Uh, we thought it's a good opportunity to keep the momentum going. <coughs> we have what we call a bridging, uh, a heavy bridging section for the world. So we saw an opportunity and the need to deal with one or two specific items. And today, this item that we really want to focus on deals with some of the issues and the issues of development. So here we started off with Kami, as a picture of this morning. And in one of the earlier Kami sessions, we talked about um, thinking beyond the borders thinking beyond your individual borders, thinking beyond the physical borders, uh, in terms of who you're working with and the impact that your work has on people and things around you. And we extended that concept to integrated watershed planning. So don't just think about your individual lot, your subdivision, perhaps your individual municipality you're working with, but think of, in terms of the impact of what you're doing on the watershed as a whole. And the need to think about all of the elements to have to be taken into consideration as part of that planning and development process so that your impact on that watershed has to be carefully considered as you progress in the process. So that would lead us then into the thought of new business as usual. So it's not just business as usual, but it's thinking about all of those other things that come together now. Things that are, that are imposed upon us by legislation um, in terms of um, more protection for the environment, um, greenhouse gas reduction, and so forth. So in order to get your <coughs> needs met, you need to walk through a process. That process is when you come to the municipality with your application for development. And it's the process that we need to focus on. We know, and you know, that if you do things right at the front end, the end result will be a lot better, getting expedited and everybody will end up saving time and money. There's also going to be a reduction in the footprint, the, the, that is the environmental footprint, because if you do things right at the front end, you don't have to go back and fix them afterwards. And the end product that you'll have is an added value product. For example, and, and this is perhaps a bit of a weak analogy, but I'll throw it out anyway. If, for example, you have 50 hectares of land and you want to put on 50 blocks on earth for, for your development purposes, and you bring your plan along to the municipality, and the municipality turns around and says to you, well, no, you can't do that because uh, you need to take into consideration all of these other factors, whether it's environmental issues or sensitive areas and so forth. You might only end up with perhaps being able to get 40 lots on your development. But the value of those 40 lots, having considered all of the issues <coughs> from an environmental perspective, have an added value so that they're going to be more attractive. They're going to show that you've got corporate due diligence, that you're a responsible community, and that there's going to be a desire, a greater desire, on the part of the pers prospective purchasers that they want to live in that community. Therefore, say like right, anybody could probably demand more, you could get more of in terms of your lot. The end product of all this is greenhouse gas reduction. Um, and that's not where the focus is, but it's just another spin on it, another benefit of this process. And the end product of this whole process, if you follow the doctrine, this is just part of a logical or lack of it, way of thinking. Um, the end product of this process is hopefully a successful project for you. But what we really want to do with this today is to focus on the process. That is the process of how we can work with you to ensure that we expedite the process. Um, that you end up with the product that you want, that you keep down the costs and then so on and so forth. So, maybe as a, as a bit of a segue, um, Kim, I'm going to bring you turn this over to you because we want to know what it is that you're looking towards as an outcome for this particular session today.